Hello students, welcome back. Let's solve another science sample paper question from this year. The question is a two mark question and the question is the electric circuit above figure in a cloth dryer contains two heaters X and Y in parallel. The above figure shows the circuit connected to a 230 volt power supply. When both the switches are closed, the current in X is 3.5 ampere. Analyze the circuit given above and answer the following questions. The first one is calculate the power developed in heater X. Second is if the resistance of X is double that of Y, calculate the current in the heater Y. So here we have a circuit in which there are two heaters X and Y which are connected in parallel to a source of potential 230 volt. That means both these heaters are operating at the same voltage because in a parallel circuit we know that the potential difference across the ends of the branch remains the same or is constant. So the supply voltage for both the heaters is 230 volt. Now a current of 3.5 ampere flows through the heater X when the circuit is closed. Now we have to find out the power developed in heater X. Now to find out the power, let's write down what all data we have. So we have the voltage is 230 volt and the current flowing through the heater X is 3.5 ampere. Now the formula for power is given by because we have here V and we have here I. So power is equal to V into I. Now substituting the values of V and I we get it is 230 multiplied by 3.5 which is 805 watt because the SI unit of power is watt. So the power developed in heater X is 805 watt. Now this is the answer to the first question. Let's solve the second one. So in the second question it asks if the resistance of X is double that of Y we have to find out the current in the heater Y. Now let's write down let the current flowing in heater Y be I Y. So this is I Y and let R be the resistance of this heater. Now we know that from Ohm's law I Y will be V by R. Let's write similarly for the heater X. Let the current flowing in heater X be I X. The current which is flowing in this one is I X which is 3.5 ampere. It's given over here. Now it's given here that the resistance of X is double of that of Y. Now since we have taken the resistance of Y is R and it's given in the question that resistance of X is double that of Y. The resistance of X becomes twice of that of Y. All right. So here we write. So the current in the heater X is IX and the resistance of X will be 2R because the resistance of X is twice that of Y. Now since Y we have taken as R. So the resistance of X will be 2R. So IX becomes V by 2R. Alright, so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now let's find out the ratios. Ix by Iy is V by 2R divided by V by R. So V V cancels, R R cancels. It's 1 by 2 which implies Ix by Iy is 1 by 2 or cross multiplying this. 2ix is iy. Now ix we have over here is 3.5 ampere. It's given in the question. So this implies iy is 2 into 3.5 that is 7 ampere. So the current flowing in the heater y is 7 ampere. So this is the answer. Now if you are finding difficulty in solving this type of division, you can simply write here Ix by Iy is equal to V by 2R. This is divided by V by R. So simply write here divided by V by R. So which will become V by 2R. So in order to cancel it, we have to change it into multiplication. So when we change it into multiplication, V by R will be changed to its reciprocal. That is R by V. So V V cancels, R R cancels. That is 1 by 2. So again it becomes Ix by Iy is 1 by 2 or 2Ix is Iy. So this is another simpler way in which you can solve this. Now without doing calculation also you can solve this because we know that V is equal to Ir. So I will be V by R. Now for a fixed voltage that is if the potential difference or the voltage remains constant current will vary 
inversely as the resistance now if resistance is increased the current will decrease so if resistance becomes double current will become half of it so here since the resistance of y is half of that of x the current flowing in y will be double of that of x all right so this is another simple way in which you can calculate without solving in this method please feel free to ask me in the comment box if you have any doubt regarding this so with that we come to the end of this video please do like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous years board exams i've shared the link of the playlist in the description box it will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams